Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Welcome back to another Schema Scalper video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at seasonal tendencies, and the focus will be on the upcoming month, which is March. And we are looking for strong moves, one directional, and we are looking for two currency pairs, or two currencies, sorry, that are doing opposite movement so that we can trade that. So for March, we're going to start with dollar. We're going to look at dollar, euro, Japanese yen, British pound, Australian dollar, Canadian dollar, and Swiss franc. That's the seven we're going to be looking at. We're going to look at each of these seasonal charts independently. Also, these are not forex charts. These are all futures charts. So let's get into it. Okay. So for the month of March, we've got dollar. Creating a high during March. I'm only focusing on this month, March, until wherever the low is. So we've got March, we've got a, a low over here, middle of March, and then beginning of May. So we've got first, I'm going to say first to second week, March. All of this I'm, I'm writing in a notepad so that when it comes to the day when I need to execute, I can look at it and I can know, okay, I'm selling this currency pair throughout this month or I'm buying this currency pair throughout the month. So for dollar, we will be selling dollar. And it will be from first to second week of March. So uh, I would say that second, second to fourth week, or second to third week of March. <clears throat> so that's the one. The second one is first to second week of March. So, you guys will see it over here. First and second week until the last week of April. So, to last week. To first week of May. Last week of April, first week of May. So that's the two for dollar. Now we're going on looking at Euro. Big move up, okay. Look at Euro. So we are buying. You can see down here, there's a low first week. to second week March to third week <coughs> my bad <coughs> so it's second third week of March The first one, second one would be first week of April till the last week of April. First week of April till third slash fourth week. So that's the two areas, okay. Now looking at yen, Japanese yen.
through March. Big, we're looking for big moves. So first week of March until the middle of March, selling. First slash second first week of March. So I'd say that second week. Of March. It's the first one and then big move up second week of March. So we can be buying second week of March. So so that's third week. Okay. And then we'll be selling. Third week of March. So first week of April. Now looking at pound. Pound will be selling first week of March. So Second week of March or middle of March. And we'll be buying second week of March to dun 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 it's all into May okay so start of May okay now looking at Australian dollar Okay, won't be selling that. That's too small of a move. Things are that low. Okay. So Australian dollar will be buying first. No, that's second. Second week slash middle. Middle of March. And it will be till at second week slash middle of April. Okay, we'll be buying Australian dollar. That's the immediate move that stands out to me. Um, Canadian dollar 
will be buying March Uh, that's third week, middle slash third week. Of March till let's look at that the middle of April I'll say. So second week slash middle of April. Okay. Now the last one, Swiss franc, March. Start of March drops off. These lows. Second week in March until third week of March, we will be buying. So Swiss franc, Swissy, be buying. First week slash middle March till I'd say that's third week, second slash third week March. Okay, now I've got all of that. Now we need to pair up same time frames so if it says beginning of March sell I'm looking for another pair that says beginning of March buy because those ones are opposed to each other and we can trade that so let's look so look at first week second week March So okay, so looking at selling dollar, so all dollar, so it's dollar sell, first week, second week of March, so I'll go back to this chart, first, second week of March, it's actually kind of closer to the middle, but okay, first, second week of March, And now I'm looking at all the other currencies that have buys during the first and second week of March. Okay. So we've got Swissy. First and second week of March, looking for sales. In dollars, so buy in other currencies. First, middle of March, second week, Australian dollar is second week. Pound dollar is first week till second week. Sales and buys second week till mid. Sorry, till start of May. Looking until mid March. So Swissy, first week, middle of March. Okay. By first week till middle of March. Euro. So it's bound. Uh, Euro. First week, middle of March. So during this time, I want to be trading Euro Dollar. So Swissy Euro, and I'm gonna get one more pair. 
the first week till the middle of March to trade. So it's Swissy, Euro dollar, and I'm gonna see Canadian dollar. Middle to third week, nope. I'm not looking for buys during that time. Looking for closer to the first week. Pound dollar, nope. Let's look at pound dollar. There's not that real big movement up in pound dollar during this time. So it will be move up, move down. Yeah, okay. So those are the two pairs I'm looking at. I'm not going to look any further because that is enough. So I'll be trading Swiss franc versus US dollar. And we'll be trading Euro versus US dollar. Actually, I should look for a third one that's an exotic, that's not a major. So I'm looking for move up or move down, and then an opposing move up or down. Got big move up, Swiss franc, middle of March. Mm -hmm. Consolidation during March. Consolidation during March. No big movements. So Japanese yen has a big movement during March. Yeah, yen as well. It's about the same time the dollar does that. So those are the three pairs. I know I said I'm looking for an exotic, but I just looked at yen and that's enough. Japanese yen versus US dollar. Two, three pairs. So that's the three pairs I'm trading for the month of March. Um, it'll be mostly during the middle of March till the end. But sometimes this season I'll display up earlier, so I'm just going to try and be in the charts. And try and get these moves. Okay. With that being said, everyone have a lovely weekend and have a great time. I have three more videos out. Um, looking at the Swiss franc versus US dollar, Euro versus US, US dollar, and yen versus US dollar. Just to check that these seasonalities actually play out in the chart, and it's not just based on news events that drove it super high up um, very quickly. With that being said, have a great one. Cheers.